Hey, what's up, everybody? ZITV here with the Skyrim mod series episode 61. Be welcome, and this is the mod Dense Vegetation by Gala. This was one of the mods that have been requested in the last time. There are a lot of requests right now, and you see, I made several comparisons of different locations. Um, you can see here that the amount of the grass has been increased hard, very hardly. And um, this affects all the grass that you can change in the settings menu, you know, that option where you can um, adjust the distance um, on which you can see grass. You can see here, it also affects the green grass, it also affects this white grass, all the types that I mentioned here. Um, it costs a lot of CPU power, so just use this if you have a high-end computer or setup. But if you have one, it's definitely worth it. And the Aeon Fortress is another mod by Countercruel, one of his new house mods. Um, that's the guy who also did Talos Island and Mountain Crest, and this is a new island mod. You can uh, find this in the near of Riverwood and Helgen. I will show you the location at the end of this little walkthrough here. And this is the entrance. You see very detailed um, the way up to this gate itself, and unfortunately it's locked. So uh, we need the key, and here's a message at the tree, very hidden, and it says this place has been abandoned since Uriel sub team third, and so on. And we need to find a place where the water of the river, uh, the island, meets um, what of the lake. So luckily, I already know this place. Maybe you would now go to the star. Oh my God, what is that? Water wolves. Uh, we should take care here. Um, maybe you would go to the to the start of the road where we came from and look door there for a key, but it's here. We all know islands are living, living animals, and they need to breathe water. Um, because of that, here is a waterfall. So islands breathe water, and then they release it again. It's very natural, and we can find here the key. It's hidden behind this place, behind a waterfall. And now we can go back, a little rabbit here. And I said, take care of water wolves. God, these beasts are really annoying. But I can take care of this, no problem. Just two hits and that's it. And of course, we don't want to have this body here at our island, so uh, we hope it's it will just disappear. But let's enter the island itself. And when we enter it, we see it doesn't look like a fortress or something like that. It's more like a really peaceful and natural place. You have here a lot of trees. You have here a lot of flowers and plants. And this road, a lot of rocks. And the stuff itself, you see here some stone uh, brick walls and some um, wooden bridges. Also, the barrels that are already said said barrels barrels I guess I guess so so it's a very very peaceful place and this is the first building that we can enter and uh, it continues here also with the peacefulness you see flowers very decorative the torch in the background and this huge thing here that we can look through and if we do we see a ladder that will lead us upwards and there is another place I, I'm not sure what that even is, that thing in the middle beside of a huge stone. But anyways, let's go upwards. And here's another room, we have here chests, we have here a table and an alchemy laboratory, lab, laboratory, something like that, how it's called. Flex at the wall, really, really lovely lightning, oh, light, lighting, I mean. <laughs> and there's an apple, apple, oh my god. Is that never mind anyways outside again and this is a kind of a of a um, yeah a circle and around the circle are the buildings so that was the first one that's the second one where we can find also workbench in front of it and uh, if you enter it we have here a larger room bigger than the other one where we also have a table we have uh, different places to store our stuff and um, flag again so it's all this one style and there's also a second floor oh you see also the bookcases and so on and uh, you see already that there's a door missing 
uh, that was my fail kind of actually uh, I did this video too early <laughs> um, because he's kind of cruel himself is adding a lot of stuff right now so he uh, adds right now a balcony and he also thinks about uh, some living like chickens and maybe some merchants and uh, adds a lot of stuff right now so this video of us may be a little bit too early, but you can also see here the bedroom. Uh, that will maybe be also in kind of a secret secret uh, trap door that will lead outside. And if you're outside again, then we have here a smith, a, bl a forge, I mean, a forge, anvil, and grindstone. There's a chest to get our stuff in. And so on. And the side is also a tanning rack. And this is the circle that I talked about. You see here on the left as the big building, then have the second one on the right side is the forge stuff and so on. So this is a really cool mod, very detailed and it's a very very interesting place. I love it, it actually was a request by me, but then we uh, yeah, did it we'll get um, better and better so keep an eye on it and have fun with that moment of embarrassing silence and the last mod for today is minus friends minecraft I just saw this mod and it's actually more a fun mod we can see here uh, this is a place where we can get some minecraft action and there's a zombie fighting a creeper and oh my god it just exploded and gave him uh, yeah I don't know if that was was necessary because the zombie was already on the ground but yeah maybe you wanted to do some 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 movie action a hero's death for a creeper I don't know if that's legit and anyways we can here find Steve's mind pick what the heck <laughs> this is pretty funny we can write here a minecraft pick with a saddle with a saddle don't uh don't forget that it's more sliding over the ground than running uh, that's actually pretty funny oh my god so rude how he, he's throwing me down what did I did to you pick yeah uh, try to run away mm, gonna get you oh my god oh god it's so fast it's so fast let's take the bow and take it out uh, arrow aim and no we do know that I won't hit. So let's skip that and um, let's go to Steve. So, what is he doing? Jing, jing, jing. Oh, the master. Master of crafting, you see. He can let the, uh, the hammer float. And his voice. Uh, we can make him to our follower, and he has the pickaxe with uh, himself, of course. That's must have I guess for him and as far as I know the, the pickaxe does some uh, lightning damage and here invasion of the mine zombies they're called here oh my god oh, did you see that nice kill move oh yes go down on your knees damn zombie oh Steve I'm gonna save you oh my god I get overwhelmed by zombies there are so many I can't see myself Oh god. And you see here, I, I'm not very high this time. But these guys don't do very much damage with their fists. Ooh. And there you go. They even bleed. They even bleed. Oh my god. The face full of blood. Blood, I mean. Oh my god. <laughs> Tuck. Bam. No chance. Uh, Steve has to train a little bit because he seems pretty weak compared to me look how I own them up wow oh, and Steve is down on the ground all the time come on get some balls stay up at least he does stay up and one and then the last one jam in the neck and now the bow now it's time for a bow some bow action it's hard to hit actually because oh damn damn kill move yeah it was hard for me, not for you. What was that? 18 kills for me, 2 for you. Don't look at me like that. I tried that world thing in a big battle. 
but it wouldn't have looked so good on the video itself because it was just a big mass of green flesh and uh, you couldn't see very very much um, anyways guys thanks for watching like always tell me what mods did you like the most in this episode and I'll thank you guys for watching if you like the video give me a like or subscribe to my channel it helps me growing also of course you can leave a comment and I see you guys in the next video have a nice day and we'll see us bye